Hey guys, welcome. Today I wanted to talk to you again about Twitch streaming, this time focusing on software. So all the software you are going to need to use to stream. Uh, all the things I'm going to mention, there are free options for. I personally use everything that's free. There are paid versions of things, but I mean, I will, I will gloss over those as well. But basically what I'm trying to say is that anyone can do this. If you've got a half decent PC, and I will talk about hardware in the next video, uh, if you've got a half decent PC, then you will be able to stream effectively for free uh, once you've bought the PC itself. I'm assuming you already have that. Um, so, without further ado, the most important thing which you're going to need is, of course, streaming software. There are two really good, uh, like, which are the main competitors uh, at the moment which are out there, and that is OBS, which I think the majority of people use. Um, that's called Open Broadcast Software, I believe. I think that's what it stands for. Everyone just calls it OBS. Uh, and then there's Xplit. Xplit is the uh, paid option. I can't remember how much it is. I think it's £15, and I don't know if that's a one-off payment or if that's a membership thing. I don't know because I've never ventured into that territory. Uh, that that I know some people do use it, but from what I've heard, it's just as good to use OBS. So I use OBS Studio, which is the newest version of OBS. You can go onto the website and download it for free. I'll put the links for absolutely everything I talk about into the description for you guys. You can just click on them, download everything you need to download. Uh, when you download that, there'll probably be a few plugins which you don't already have. It will prompt you to download those as well. Everything is free with this. OBS is fan dabby freaking dozy. Uh, OBS, basically, you put in your Twitch ID you set up the settings. Now the settings are a little bit fiddly with streaming. You have to spend quite a long time figuring out exactly like the dimensions that you're gonna need, etc, etc. And also, I mean, that's, that's the easiest of a lot, but like figuring out like bit rate, things like that. Um, and also like volume levels, which is a bigger thing than you'd expect. Um, volume levels, etc, etc. It does take a lot of trial and error, but if you are at like the start of your streaming career if you get like one loyal friend in your chat and you just be like dude straight up with me i'm gonna try a hell of a lot of different things tell me what i need tell me if you can't hear me or if like the dimensions are wrong tell me if i'm like laggy if i'm dropping frames etc etc um the bit rate is a bit of a bitch in all honesty uh let me see what i've got mine set up on now i will do another video probably in the future which is about my obs settings because it is quite a a tricky thing to sort out in the very beginning. Uh, so I have my bitrate on 1000 and it used to be on 500 when I had a shittier internet connection. Uh, but because I've got a better, confu better computer, a better computer and better internet, it means I can stream at 1000. It used to be 2000 like uh, like briefly when I went to my mum, she had really good internet. But basically you have to you have to adapt it depending on your internet etc etc. Um, so it's a bit of a pain. It's a bit of a pain, but OBS is really simple for doing these things. Uh, I mean, as simple as it can be, really. Uh, you can set up different frames. So for example, let me just show you. Uh, so when I'm streaming, I want to just have face cam. I've got this, so I've got my overlay down here, and then I've got like tips and things like that. Um, and then when I'm playing games, I have it on things like this. So I will still have, I don't know where my overlay's gone. I've freaking lost my overlay, haven't I? Anyway, um, so you still, you've got like the game in the background, I'm small, etc., etc. Uh, so it's things like that. So you can have different frames and you can just switch between them. You can set them all up beforehand. Uh, it's, it is freaking great. OBS is amazing. You need the streaming software. You have to have that. So streaming software is the first thing. After that, you can go on to getting the fancy pants alert and all that jazz. So if you ever watch a stream and you're like, how did they get that follower notification? For example, let me show you one. Uh, okay. So if you get... I'm on the wrong freaking stream, aren't I? There we go. Right, let me just do that again. I'm on, the, I'm on the wrong blooming screen. Right, here we go. So if you get like notifications like this, that you can set them up to look however you want, etc, 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 etc. If you get notifications like that, uh, it's all done through... I've, I've messed up now, broken it now. Uh, it's all set up through Twitch Alerts. Uh, I mean, you, again, it's another thing that you can use multiple different programs for. I use Twitch Alerts because it is the most reliable one. I did have one in the past that just stopped working one day and never revived itself. Uh, so I would suggest Twitch Alerts. Again, it is free. You can download some software to go with it, which is called Twitch Labels, which gives you a list of all the followers. So if, for example, you've had five followers in one minute and you can't keep up and you're like, shite, what was the, what was the third follower? You've got a list. Uh, which you can quickly pack. If you get donations, it all goes through there as well. Uh, if someone hosts you, it all goes through there as well. It's really, really simple. 
Um, Twitch alerts is great. I like you can put any different. You can put your own, put your own images, your own animations. You can put different sound effects. You can do whatever you freaking want. Uh, you can also set up donation goals as well. I'm not a big fan of donation goals uh, for the most part, but you can set up donation goals. So if you're like trying to raise money for charity or a new computer or something, it will do it through there. Uh, so that is super super useful. Um, also. Having the right browser is massively important. So for most people's computers, Chrome does not work when you're streaming. It will just use too much of your processor. And I mean, streaming is so incredibly processor heavy. It is super freaking intense. If you've got Chrome open as well and your computer can't handle it, everything will just crash. The stream will start dropping frames. It will be a freaking nightmare. So you want to download Firefox. Firefox, I find, is the most reliable one for this. Mess around, see which is best for your computer. Um, Oprah might be better. I don't know. It's up to you. Don't use Internet Explorer. No one uses Internet Explorer for anything in their lives. Uh, but I think Firefox is probably the best one for this. It's definitely the best one for me. Um, it's just, I just wouldn't recommend Chrome. I just wouldn't recommend Chrome. I've even like, I've, I've discorded with some of my friends who are setting up streams and they've got freaking beastly computers, but they just can't run it with Chrome, which is so, it's so crazy, but it's just Chrome is, it just, it takes over your processor. Um, so after that, you also of course need the game itself. Um, if you're using, if you're using one that's on your computer, then again, you just like, it's fucking simple. You just use, you just use a streaming software and get it to, get it to, Get that anyway uh, if you're using if you're using um, if you're using like a PlayStation or something like that or if you're streaming from just a console basically uh, then you are gonna want to have uh, you're gonna want to have a what that I'm thinking of the thing any boob boob flip the boob then you plug into the flip the boob and the flip the boob the software basically the software that's required to do the anyway I'll talk about that in my hardware one because it's mainly hardware um I will hopefully remember the name of it at that point what the fucking hell is the name of this piece of shite this is gonna annoy me anyway anyway um so those are your essentials however if you want to go over and above those things um I'm now going to go into audio. I have had so many people coming into my stream recently who are like, how the heck do you get your audio quality so incredibly clear and just like professional? Um, recently I have downloaded two different pieces of software which are a little bit of a pain to set up, but absolutely 100% worth it. Uh, again, both of them are free. One is called Voice Meter and the other one is called Virtual Audio Cable. Um, and they both work together and it, it just, it's just beautiful. Uh, like Voice Meter is basically like a virtual, a virtual, um, what's the friggin' name? I can't forget, I can't remember anything today. Um, it's like, it's like a mixing station basically. Uh, so you can add like echo, you can add, you can add all kinds of different things, you can make it louder, quieter, etc, etc. And then virtual audio cable just works as an audio cable, it's virtual. Um, I will quickly show you guys what it sounds like when I'm not using it. So this is me using virtual audio cable. If I stop this and just go through my blue snowball microphone, then it sounds like this. So hopefully you can hear the difference. Uh, it picks up, it picks up background noise a lot, a lot more easily. And there's no like, there's no echo, there's no like, there's, it's just, it's a bit, it's a bit meh. So I'll go back to my other one. So hopefully now you can tell the difference. This is back with the virtual audio cable. Uh, both, both pieces of software are so useful and it just adds, it just adds the most amazing, most, like, this is so good. It just sounds so much better. It just sounds so much better. So those are the essentials. I hope I haven't forgotten anything. Um, like I said, if you guys want me to do a video on how I actually set up all of these things, so if how I set up OBS, how I set up um, voice meter, I can I can include those as well in a different video. Uh, the next video will be on hardware, of course. This has been it's been a little bit lengthy, but hopefully this helps you out with exactly all the software that you're going to need. I've been in so many streams where I've had to just link people all these things, so now I can just link them this video. I'm like, here you go, have all of the information you need about software. Um, it is a pain. Don't get me wrong. It is an absolute pain to set up streaming, especially the OBS part. So when you're actually setting up the streaming software, it is a pain. It takes a lot of trial and error. If you can manage to get it right on the first time, then I mean, I fucking hands down to you. I have changed computers so many times and every single time it requires different settings. So it really is trial and error, but the best thing you can do is just 
start streaming, try and stream a game, fiddle around, keep restarting the stream right at the start when you've only got a couple of viewers, um, and just ask them out. You'll be like, guys, please help. And you will get there, and it will be so much better, and it will it will be magnificent. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. You look great today. Thank you for watching. Comment down below if you've watched the whole entire video. Uh, stick a snazzy, just the word snazzy, in the comments if you have watched this entire video and got to this stage. See you later, guys. If you haven't already, please do come check me out on Twitch. This is my Twitch username. I speak probably more coherently there. I don't even know. Um, okay. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop babbling now. See you later, guys. Have an awesome rest of your day. Farewell.